Hello there, this is Easy from Excess Press Themes. Today I'm here with uh, our new um, free WordPress slider plugin that's called w WP One Slider. Uh, as we know, the slider is one of the <coughs> very important um, component in any website or any in any theme. So we have decided to develop a, a very useful slider plugin with a lot of uh, useful features so that um, be it a free theme or be it any kind of theme you can use the slider and you you, you have um, control over almost anything that you need so basically um, we have created WP1 slider considering those things uh, I'll take you through the demo first <clears throat> So this is the demo of the WP1 slider. We have a lot of variations in here, as you can see. So we have slider captions, uh, variations. All the slider caption can be um, highly configured. Uh, the pager the, uh, can be configured. The thumbnail pager has a lot of styles and a lot of options. Pagination uh, and the, the slider shadow box can have a lot of variation too. So uh, first thing uh, this is how a typical slider looks like from this plugin so this is the slider title and slider description with a button and the link on the button and this is the um, slider navigator and this is also the slider navigator okay and uh, this slider has uh, some shadow um, shadow uh, over here um, this is another piece of slider so this has some uh, opacity on the background and the flat design button different type of navigator here you have a different type of uh, navigator and the slider without button slider with button and uh, most importantly in here we have the thumbnail navigator as well so you can click on the thumbnail and you can easily um, navigate through the slider right <clears throat> okay so here we have another design for the thumbnail slider like this okay so this is one let me take you through the other one uh, for the caption also we have uh, given you uh, a lot of control so the caption can the caption can be either in the center or on the right or left so for example this is caption design one this is caption design two. So uh, on the slider header, you can put some uh, colored background uh, so that the, the text looks clear. This is another type of caption, as you can see. This is the slider title and slider description separated, separated by a color horizontal line. Uh, here we have another caption design. Okay, so these are the captions available, and uh, for the dot navigator, this is one of uh, one example of the dot navigator. The other example is like this. Okay, the other example is like this. Okay, and the other example is like this. So we have given you a lot of control to make a slider of your choice. For the thumbnails also, for the thumbnails navigation also, we have a lot of options for you. So this is one, like this. You can scroll through here, like this. Yeah. The next one for the thumbnail is this one, just above the main picture, here. Okay. The other option is here. One more option is here, rectangle, uh, circular, like this. The other one is circular above the picture. One more. One more with different, with different effect. One more here like this half almost half of the circular thumbnails are above the main slider 
and here you go for the pagination <coughs> for the pagination here you have as you can see here 1 by th 3 2 by 3 3 by 3 okay all right so basically what we have tried to do is we have to try to develop or create a slider plugin which is actually uh, which actually has a lot of features and a lot of uh, customization options so that you can use it like a premium uh, uh, plugin right on your website and easily so I would also like to take you through the um, back end of the slider so how it can be created and how easy it is so once you install the slider here comes wp1 slider uh, this, had, uh, this has two options uh, wp1 uh, slider and add new so as you can see you can create as many sliders as you need so unlimited slider creation is possible let me create one for you very quick so uh, test The, uh, so what you have to understand is when you create a slider you have an option to add slider images so let's do that so let's upload an image uh, I think I'll use uh, right from here And each slider uh, can have or not the button. So if you'd like to show a button with text, with, with link, so you can uh, check in here, check to show button, button text, learn more, and button URL, maybe any URL that you need, like this. And uh, th this is all set. So you can just um, publish it. All right, so if you want to add one more or another more slider images, just add image slider, it will go down like here. So, so um, image for this. Let's use this one. Okay, so let's not have a button here for this one. So let's save it here. Now, once you uh, add the sliders or the slider images, the other very important settings are in here. In the general setting, you have four kind of settings. One is slider, caption, pager, and navigation errors. For example, in the slider setting, you have so slider box shadow or not this shadow you, you'd like to show it or not so if you say false nothing will show if you say true there are some options shadow type 1 and shadow type 2 okay so let me show one type 1 of shadow in the caption settings um, I have an option uh, to show the caption like this and I have all the options to configure the font and the color and everything right here. So title font, what size, description font, what size, title color and description color and the button color, button hover color, button shadow color and the caption position where, where you'd like to show the caption and show caption in the widget. This means if you are using this slider not in the main piece but in the widget areas maybe the widget area can be uh, a less wider or of a less width so um, you can disable it or you can even show it all right so <clears throat> uh, type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 okay so let me use type 2 for now for example okay and here uh, page settings uh, do you like to enable the pager or not? So if you like then uh, there are options dot pager then in the dot pager also you have option type 1 type 2 type 3 and for all types you have an option to select the background color and the active color if not dot then thumbnail in the thumbnail also you have an option like this so 
in thumbnail we have given a lot of options so that you will have easy time to configure it as you need okay like this 10 options we have so for example for now I like and and, and uh, when you see the thumbnail page then you have also an option to count number of uh, count of thumb slides thumb slide width and height and um, show thumb in the widget or not okay so uh, and pagination you have this option for pagination let me say dot and let me say uh, type 3 for now okay or let me say type 2 for now and then here you have navigation arrows so what type of arrows you'd like to show and here you have seven options type 2 type 3 type 4 type 4 uh, type 5 6 7 let me say 7 okay so this is for the slider and as soon as you do this here you can see some other options as well so what is the width of the slider what is the speed of the slider what is the um, auto play is true or false okay transition what vertical or horizontal or fade in fade out and controls so controls or not do you want to make your slider responsive or not okay so these are the features let me upgrade it right as soon as you upgrade, update everything here comes your uh, sort codes so you can use the sort code or you can use this uh, code in the template that you'd like to include let me quickly show you by using the sort code so let me go to piece and a new piece uh, for now I wouldn't do anything just paste the sort code wherever I would like to show the slider and uh, just publish it and and once this is done let's view the piece And the slider should be right here, like this. Okay, so all the details like the width of the slider and the caption and this pagination and the control and color and everything is uh, uh, configurable from the back end that I showed you. All right, so this is it, and this is how the plugin looks like. So basically, like I said, we have really, really tried hard to make this slider uh, be very useful to you all because we have tried to give a lot of uh, configuration and a lot of other features and options from our years of experience so that you can create the slider easily and uh, use it in any type of websites that you are working on. So um, just go to our website and uh, there is a find a plugin named Dolpy One Slider and you can download it right from the dolpy.org uh, repo as well. So use, download it, use it and also don't forget to send us your feedback. Uh, we'll definitely work on your feedback and uh, even make it better. Thank you very much.